What's up everyone? Today we're going to tour this fixer upper in East San Jose. My good friend, fellow house flipper Tom Tran will join us again to show us his new acquisition and they are going to start demolition tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Tom Tran. Uh, we're, we're happy to show you this new flip that we just got last week. So now we're going to start the demolition process. So we want to show you how ugly the house is inside and all that. Yeah, thank you for giving us, giving our audience a sneak peek of mm -hmm. this flip before you even start work. Yeah. Can you tell us how you got the house? Yeah, this one was uh, actually on the MOS. It was just oh, wow. on the public and um, we actually didn't win the property at first. Okay. Someone submitted an offer higher than us, like 50000 over, but they couldn't perform. They couldn't um, get the financing or they got scared uh, because of the condition or whatever it is. Uh huh. Yeah, so they backed out and then the agent went back to us. Oh, yeah, wow. that's how we got it. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Like, so this shows you like even if you don't have other sources to get deals, mm -hmm. MLS is still a, a good source. Yeah, kind and, of. Yeah. Yeah. And like you didn't win the bid initially, mm -hmm. so you were actually able to pay a like cheaper price yeah but still get the house because you were the backup offer exactly right? exactly awesome. and our terms were really good it was no contingencies mm -hmm. and then the agent wanted like a hundred thousand dollars for the earnest money deposit mm -hmm. that was non-refundable so that was a little bit scary mm. but we figure it's a low price point we got it for low 600 625 so it's not that bad worst case we're just buy and keep it as a rental worst worst case right yeah like if you are um in other areas of the country you mm -hmm. may think oh 625 is a high price right but actually in the bay area it's a very affordable very affordable very affordable price and it's a in a very affordable neighborhood mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome i love affordable houses right it's less risky when you flip it exactly yeah. Awesome. Yep. So cool. we just bought it real quick in less than 10 days and now we closed it last week so we can start the work this week. Awesome. Yeah. So what are you going to do on the exterior? Yeah. So this one, we're going to keep it mostly the same. So mm -hmm. we're going to keep all the, the walls the same. We'll just paint it, uh, maybe fix all this rotted fascia boards uh -huh. along the roof. Uh, new gutters. The uh -huh. gutters is all kind of messed up. Uh-huh and that's it very simple maybe some landscaping maybe a new garage door new garage door yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah this one doesn't work anymore yeah so we're gonna get a new one for a thousand dollars includes labor and materials yeah so it's not that bad yeah garage doors are not that, that expensive yeah but it seems like the windows are double pane windows are double pane already for yeah. some of them for some of them so maybe we'll keep some and uh -huh. replace them to save some money yeah mm -hmm. window can be a big expense right, so it's right. good that you have some good windows already exactly cool so can you show us the interior of the house yeah let's go check it out okay cool let's go <laughs> so now we're in the living room Tom how big is this house this house is about uh, 1200 square feet it's uh -huh. only three bedroom and two bath okay so very small setup we actually like fixing small houses now yeah. So we don't like big houses anymore. It's too much materials. Uh -huh. So three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet. I think it's built in 1960, so it's not that old. Okay. It's a little bit cosmetic work and we're good. Yeah, I like small, smaller houses too because uh -huh. smaller houses usually the price per square foot per square foot is higher. like on the higher yeah, end compared to the larger houses. But on the larger houses, like you said, uh -huh. you have to spend a lot of money because of all the like everything in the house yeah, it's expensive more everything for sure mm -hmm. yeah that's that's great i think 1200 square foot is a pretty standard size yeah around here mm -hmm. awesome so what are you going to do in this living room this living room uh, we're just going to clear it up a little bit so there's a lot of weird additions in the house like this i don't yeah, know yeah that's is. a big soffit yeah <laughs> it's yeah what is very this? interesting it's shape like a spaceship or something <laughs> yeah so yeah we'll rip all this down we'll rip down this whole wall so wow. it opens up the whole kitchen and living room combo uh-huh yeah so once you open up this wall mm -hmm. it's gonna look so much bigger yeah. so much more Roomier. open and yeah that, mm -hmm. that would be awesome yeah right now it's a little a little, a little yeah yeah a little small 
And I see there's popcorn ceiling, huh? <laughs> right, right. Popcorn ceiling. We'll, we'll take all that out. Uh -huh. yeah, they added some electrical already, which is good. Yeah. So we can probably reuse those electrical wire and put new, new drywall and new uh, recessed lighting. Yeah, that that's good. Mm -hmm. And then um, the floors. Floor are we'll, you going to we'll go replace? with um, uh, luxury vinyl. It's okay. Only, it's only two dollars square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really nice. Yeah. It, it looks nice. It's waterproof. And it lasts forever, so... Right, yeah, that, that would be a very good um, floor for this like, price point of homes. Right, yeah, affordable yeah. price point. So 1,200 square feet house, $2 a square feet. It'll probably cost about 2000 or so for yeah. the floor for the whole house. Yeah, it's really yeah. not that expensive. Mm -hmm. Awesome, cool. Shall we check out the kitchen? Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, cool. So now we're in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I see that um, your plan is to remove all this um, like wall and, and uh, bars. That's stuff. correct. Yeah. We'll probably remove everything, right? Remove this whole um, cabinet looking thing, mm -hmm. this bar, the pantry. So imagine a nice open kitchen to the living room. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Yeah. It's nice that this bulgy built-in cabinet doesn't look very nice. Mm -hmm. And I think once you open up this whole wall yeah it's gonna be much more spacious and buyers are really gonna love it what are you gonna do in the kitchen in the kitchen we'll rip out all the cabinets because mm -hmm. it's outdated yeah yes. the, so the, new cabinets mm -hmm. um, but we'll keep everything in the same place yeah we'll keep all the same the appliances the appliances yeah. in the exact same location uh -huh. so we don't have to move anything yeah, yeah that could save a lot of money right by by not having to redo plumbing and electrical. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think you probably want to remove that soffit there. The top part? Yeah, yeah, yeah we should, huh? So we'll take down the top parts and then put new cabinets and then they'll have extra space on top of the cabinets. Uh -huh. for more and you storage. can put a little like taller cabinets. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you okay, a the more taller space. one. Yeah, okay. awesome. Cool, and yeah. you still have this same layout? Right, we'll have the same layout. Uh -huh. so probably keep the peninsula the same. Uh -huh. So we can have some lights hanging down uh -huh. and they can eat here or eat in the dining table. Uh -huh. It's very so, small. Yeah, and eating kitchen would be nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And this wall is interesting, looks interesting. Yeah, this wall is the original uh, the original exterior of the house. Oh, really? So it ends it was right an here. Exterior wall. Exterior wall. Oh. Yeah. And so they added an addition? They added the whole backside. Uh huh. But no permits. Oh, no. Yeah, so we had to remove everything. The whole backside has to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is probably better because it looks so closed. There's no lights or anything. Oh, wow. That's, mm -hmm. that's interesting. So, uh, how, why do you decide to, to remove the addition like rather than keeping it? Because sometimes mm -hmm. an addition can be grandfathered in. Right. You can actually keep it. Right. This one, they did it very um, poor quality. Okay. So it's probably better just rip it all out because a lot of it won't pass the inspection. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just rip it all out. And we want it to have a, a backyard feel. Right now, there's no feel to the backyard at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are just going to put this exterior wall back, right? right? Okay. Right. We'll put the exterior wall back, put stucco on the outside, uh -huh. put a new window again right here, uh -huh. and maybe okay. a sliding glass door right here. This was uh, nice and bright. Oh yeah, that mm -hmm. that's nice. Like a sliding door. Yeah. Um, so you can go out from the dining area to the yeah to the, to the backyard. backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be nice. Yeah. Cool. So this is the guest bathroom here. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our beautiful bathroom. Wow. It's very small <laughs> um, and very outdated, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So we'll have to rip everything out. Rip everything. Put a new bathtub, 60 inch wide. Yeah. Shower glass door. Maybe tile. Maybe tile the back. Uh huh. Um, if we want to save money, we can go with the. It's called a uh, vinyl tiles. Okay. So you just glue it on, and it yeah. looks like tiles. Oh, that's yeah, a good it, idea. It looks good. Yeah, so vinyl is like one big piece, right? You yeah. can just install it and then you don't have to do like attach each piece of the tile. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. So you save up a lot of money on yeah, installation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. And this this uh, shower is really interesting. I've never 
and anything like that. <laughs> the this door. door is so small. <laughs> yeah. I can barely fit in there. <laughs> and then you you replace everything in here, That's right? That's correct. New toilet, hundred dollars. New mm -hmm. sink. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very small sink. It's like twenty four inch. So mm -hmm. we'll you can buy a prefab. Yeah, prefab sink. sink. Home Depot, two hundred mm -hmm. dollars or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's the bathroom is good size, mm -hmm. so it's it's after you remodel it, it's, it's gonna look really nice. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Let's check out the bedroom. Yeah. So we are in bedroom number one, and this bedroom looks really unfinished and very poor condition. Yeah. What happened here? I think they had tenants. They had tenants, okay. so the tenants probably took out the flooring. Wow. So and... the floor is all. Unfinished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the walls are unfinished too. Yeah, the walls are not even painted. Yeah. yeah. And then everything's exposed. Um, uh -huh. So this is the Icolite house. So uh -huh. this is the original beam style. Uh -huh. We'll probably just put drywall and patch it all up, cover it up. Uh -huh. you know, it's just so, so you can have better insulation once better you insulation. put the drywall. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks better because right now it's so messy. Uh huh. Yeah. And are you going to redo the texture on the wall? We'll probably do the texture, probably break yeah. out the drywall and uh -huh. redo the texture. Um, probably put a new window. This yeah. This window is so small. Right. So maybe put like a 36 wide window. Uh huh. A bigger window will. Bigger window. Like have more, give more natural light. Yeah. Will be much better. And remove those cabinets. The cabinet, yeah, <laughs> I, I wanted to keep it. <laughs> it looks so weird. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll take it out. Yeah, and then repair the drywall repair over there. Drywall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think you need a new closet door. Yeah, they, they did the closet all weird. It looks unleveled. So we have to reframe the closet. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm not true. sure why it's not straight. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it will look so much better after you mm -hmm. are done with the work. Yeah, it's a good size bedroom, 10 by 10 or so. Mm -hmm. a decent size bedroom. Cool. Yeah. Wanna see the other bedroom? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. So we're in the master bedroom and this bedroom looks even worse than the last one. Yeah. There's no window here? There's no window. Oh so my this gosh. It needs a lot of work. Yeah. So, so we probably have to cut out a window right here, add uh -huh. some light on the exterior okay. wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would make a big difference. Yeah. And then I, I, this carpet is so gross. Yeah, it's probably original from like 1960s or so. Oh my god! So we'll rip all this out and uh -huh. uh, put vinyl flooring. Oh yeah, that mm -hmm. that would be great. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, is this room abandoned for a while? Like I, I think so. This big roof spider leaves. web. <laughs> it's a giant spider web. Uh huh. Yeah, and it's so messy. There's stuff everywhere. So, yeah. yeah, maybe it's abandoned. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good that you are going to probably um, do a lot of work and mm -hmm. make this livable again. Right, right. Yeah, and you're going to fix the roof leak yeah, probably. Yeah, fix the roof leak and then put drywall again to uh -huh. cover up the ceiling. Oh yeah, that would that would look great. Mm -hmm. And then a new uh, frame the closet. Yeah, we have to redo the closet. They put a furnace in the closet. It was just kind of strange. It's probably not up to code. Okay. So we'll move the furnace either in the ceiling or in the roof. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. And then um, what about the the um, bathroom. master bathroom? Yeah, we have to redo the whole master bathroom as well. Okay. Yeah. It's really outdated and nasty looking. Oh yeah. So, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. So um, the shower is really small. Is there any way to make it bigger? That's a good point. It is small. So maybe we'll break down this whole um cabinet right here uh -huh. and turn it into a regular 60 inch yeah that would be great uh -huh. look at yeah, all those spider webs and, and water <laughs> oh leaks oh my gosh yeah and then like that uh, cabinet there is uh -huh. not necessary if you can just make the shower bigger that would really add value yeah yeah this is way too small uh -huh. and then standard 30 inch sink so that's easy yeah you like the toilet oh <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross <laughs> <laughs> so you probably have to gut everything and, yeah. and make it all new. Exactly. So yeah. about um, ten thousand for a nice bathroom remodel, yeah. materials and labor. That sounds yeah. about right. Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. So this is another bedroom here. What work are you gonna do here? With this one, we have to uh, redo the whole bedroom again. So we'll remove all the flooring. Mm -hmm. This is like sticker tiles or something. Oh, interesting. We'll scrape that all out. Uh huh. Um, redo the drywall. 
put drywall on the ceiling again, cover uh -huh. that up, insulate it, recess yeah. lighting, uh, probably a new window. Yeah, this, yeah. this looks like a single pane window. Yeah, single pane is all broken, mm -hmm. they taped it up, so it probably doesn't close. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool, and then like there's some drywall damage that mm -hmm. you will repair too, right? Right, we'll have to patch up this drywall, repaint it, so yep, it'll be good again. Nice. Mm -hmm. So now we're in the backyard of the house and we can see that this whole addition with the two-story and then the back of the house. So it, you said you're going to remove it all? Yeah, we have to tear down the whole two stories because it was done without permits. Yeah, yeah it's, that's... it's not up to code. It, we can't even keep any of it. It's just all uh, really poor quality. That's a lot of demolition. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of demolition. So we yeah. probably have to bring like 20 guys here and rip it all down. Um, I think it'll cost around 10000 Okay. We're trying to keep it around 10000 That's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's very reasonable. Yeah, so we cool. have to get like five dumpster bins. So maybe each bin would be about 1000 or so. Okay. Yeah, and then labor for, for all the guys to tear it down. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. But once you remove this whole thing, yeah. the backyard will be much larger. Yeah, the backyard is actually a decent size. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, spacious back here. Mm -hmm. yeah. What what do you plan to do in the backyard? I think we'll just keep the cement. Uh, okay. People like cement, low maintenance. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll keep the cement. Um, maybe put some light landscaping on the side. Okay. So maybe planter boxes. People like planter boxes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they can grow some vegetables. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Yeah, low maintenance backyard is the way to go. Exactly. So Tom, can you share the numbers with us? Yeah, so this one is a low price point, um, 625 for the Bay Area. That's actually not bad. Mm -hmm. 625, and then we'll put in about 75,000 to remodel. Mm -hmm. So that's 700,000. And then we're aiming to sell it for about 800,000. So it's about $100,000 gross. But after commissions and hard money and all that, we're not going to make that much. So maybe like 50 grand net after everything. And that's if we keep our budget exactly 75 grand or under. So it's really important to keep the budget down within the range. Yeah, yeah. We really have to yeah. control all the costs. Um, mm -hmm. If our budget hits 85 or 90, we're not, we're, we might even break even or just make like 10, 20,000 for all mm -hmm. this work. Yeah. yeah, it's good that it's a lower, uh, smaller investment. Mm -hmm. And it's even though the margin is not great right yeah. now, but like if the market goes well, yeah. then you, you still have some upside. That's right, yeah. So one good thing, uh, the Bay Area market is so hot right now, mm -hmm. we might get 825, mm -hmm. maybe 850, you never know. Um, but yeah. conservatively, it's 800. Especially with the entry-level homes and mm -hmm. lower price point homes, they, they are always in demand. Yeah, they're yeah, always in demand. Yeah, when the market is hot, they're they are even hotter. Right, right. Yeah. And people are willing to pay 50000 over because it's mm -hmm. still affordable. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's just not enough affordable houses around exactly. here. Exactly. Cool. Hey, Lisa, you want to try out our new golden tools? Wow, these are amazing. Yeah, sure. It's 24 <laughs> karat gold. That's cool. Take a pick. Wow, <laughs> look at this hammer. Nice and shiny. <laughs> Can you help me break down the wall too? Yeah, let's okay. do it. All right. <laughs> like a, nice job. Here is a walkthrough of the entire house. I thought my flips are run down, but this project of Tom's is in really rough shape. Good thing that Tom knows all the cost saving tips to keep the budget down. And I hope you'll find the information and vision he shared helpful. It would be amazing to see how he can turn this all around with only a $75,000 budget. Once this project is completed, we'll do a follow up video to show the amazing after of the flip. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified.
thank you so much for giving yeah, us a tour and you. we really appreciate i think our viewers will really get inspired by how you are able to find this um, affordable house to mm -hmm. flip in this competitive bay area market yeah yeah yep. thank you so much yeah that was fun thank you guys yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and give us a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching see you next time Bye. <laughs> <laughs>